Hi everyone, welcome to Alive, my search for the best ways to live. Now my search has brought me here somewhere in Iscario at Redeem Tattoo Studio. And I'm here with uh, the man behind Redeem, his name. I'm sure you're familiar with this name, especially if you're uh, in the tattoo uh, scene. Boots Brandon. Uh, thank you for having me, Sajiki. <laughs> Hi, Butz. Thank you so much Hi. for doing this, and thank you so much for rearranging your tattoo studio <laughs> just for us. You have a beautiful tattoo studio. Uh, thank you. <laughs> There's so many nice and old and classic things, as well as new things like a skateboard mm -hmm. and a guitar and all of these classic decor. It's unbelievable. And I know you also designed this yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the inspiration behind this, um, especially mga antique, that, actually that, that lamp right there, my grandfather owned it. Okay. So, gagmay pa may mao na pin may ma, ma kita na mo. So, ako ngi ako ngi convert siya bulb. Kay, used to be kano na siya kanang gas ba? Okay. So, hindi ah, lamparilia. Oh, lamparilia siya sa so, 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 Lamparilia. Yeah. Ako siya ngi convert convert into wow, lamp. You're so. quite an artist, ha? <laughs> yes. Um, so, so boots. Um, you have been a tattoo artist for over a decade. In fact, uh, and even 12 years, right? And uh, you are here, one of the most established, one of the most popular, one of the best, I should say, tattoo artists here in, in, in the area, in Cebu City and perhaps in the, in the Philippines. Who knows? You've, you obviously have all of these awards. So, uh, you know, I, I can bet my, uh, some part of my body that you're probably one of the best in the Philippines. <laughs> Thank but, you. Uh, uh, Boots, tell us about how you found tattooing. Uh, take us through the journey in which uh, you found uh, tattooing. Um, before you became a tattoo artist, obviously, of course, uh, you uh, are, were a witness of, of somebody probably having a tattoo or getting a tattoo done. Tell us, that ako na mi boots, a journey yeah. when you found tattooing. Go uh, ahead. Yeah. Um, so, way back, uh, uso to ang kanang henna sa fuente. And then, what, henna, tattoo. henna tattoo. So, what I do is like, uh, I have a day job as a internet um, cafe operator mm -hmm. at day so at night especially sinulog sinulog days sa una mong dili ka ka butang og henna stool anywhere sa una so you need to get a permit ana so or mo mo mo, mo tie up kag kanang tattoo shop jud na na, na, na siya kanang booth dito sa inside sa fuente ba so a friend of mine gi kaibaw siya nga hilikog drawing and then end up na sa balay magina henna ko and then nangita ko um, part uh, ng sideline na job and he, he told me nga bro na ko kailang uh, na sila ay boots sa sa fente henna, henna artist nangita sila so and then ito ko na apply so na I end up na nakasuot ko and then slowly ito sige ko tambay sa tattoo shop sige ko this was in Mango Avenue yeah this was Mango Avenue um and then, see, tambay sa tattoo shop, I end up like seeing people na getting tattoo. Real and, actual tattoo. Real actual tattoo. Okay. First time na ko. So, kita aja go, wow, murakog na amaze ba. Because I do painting, um, unsa pa na, klase nga, nga ko. And, and then, na-interested na -interested ko, kay pagkita na ko sa, sa artwork, nga imagine na as papil, end up nga, magtanaw ka na nasa panit, and end up nga, katong tohan na, iya tong dado ng art, nga imong gibuhat, the rest of his life. Murajag, Mura ko na interest na interesado ba? Oh, unsa ako kanino? And then and then sige ko tigom and then nakapalit ko sa akong first nga machine. And then mo to na hinay ko start og uh, practice tattoo and then the more the more I study the the art of tattooing, the more kong murag na na in love. The more kong uh, nakasabot unsaon pag sulod sa Sa, sa ink sa panit, the, the more on sa pag nindot og linya. Did you have like a mentor or were you self-taught? Um self-taught ko. Um dili dili ko dili wala wala ko ni agi og um, apprenticeship. But or, ment or, or mentorship. Yeah, but uh, I consider a lot of people na akong mentor because mm -hmm. kuan man ko klase nga tao, hili ko mga tana ba mm -hmm. and hili ko mo absorb og ideas from other people. So who do you think uh, it was the tattoo artist that you learned from the most or you ask the most? Um, ang permigan ako pangutanan way back si Master Joe Bendicious. Okay. He's a really good artist and now nag-base siya sa Amerika. Mm -hmm. And he's, he like, daghan po siya ka ng kaagi nga, daghan po siya techniques nga na-share na ko ba. I remember, kanunungay ko nga, before ko mo-upload siya kong tattoo, ako pag send niya, iyang niya probahan. So, Nagi times nga yung gidi clan boots kani tarungan ning lines diri ana ba so um nindot pod nga experience nga na mga na mga artist ba nga mura siya ni 
may tabang ni mo ba along the way? I know what only agik um, apprenticeship, but I, I consider myself nga like a student ani nga tao or like Carlo Gabiana inspires me a lot. Um, Tagaan ko advice, uh, Ronnie Makapagal. Or as long as that too, right? Yeah, so, like, maogi na sila yung mga nag-una. So, I always look up to them and and always ko nga mag, 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 kuan ba, mag, uh, mga tana, on sa experience, especially running a shop. Like, wala ko, wala ko, yung, wala ko yung background. Like, so, so uh, you were uh, sort of uh, observing people yeah, in the always. tattoo studio in Mango Avenue, getting yeah. a tattoo, and you were intrigued, and you bought your first tattoo machine uh, from your savings. Uh, so, after that, what happened? Um, after after uh, um, actually I, I bounced from uh, tattooing and skateboarding because before I became a tattoo artist I, I used to compete for um line line lugar sa Pilipinas I even for skateboarding for skateboarding and then I even we even uh, went to Singapore just to shoot a video there for the the company that we working to which is DC Shoes for company so six years ago though and then after that bounce back and forth ako tattoo dere sa balay and then skate dere and then end up na especially naka naka nagkatiguan ta <laughs> so na, na natin mga bills na we need to pay and everything and then i realized na okay if i focus more on tattooing i think i can i can get where I want to go, sa akong kinabuhi ba? So, so naka, you, you can make a living. You, yeah, you, you yeah, felt yeah. at that time that you could make a living off of skateboarding, but uh, maybe tattooing will yeah. be the trick for you. Yeah, in terms I of mean, skateboarding, you, you can, you can, you can go and mabuhi ka na. But way back, wala pa gigingon ani nga scenario sa. Way back, meaning to say 1972. No, no, like maybe like 2000, okay. 2005, ano ba? Dili yung kay inana, kada ko on skateboarding sa una. So, nagig mga parts nga nahilom siya, nagig mga year nga ni kusog. So, so dili gid siya inana ba? Um, and then, mo na, um, akong lawas di na pareha sa una, dili na pareha nga grabe ka active, ang akong lawas may injury ko, dugay ng recovery. So, um, realize nga, ana. then eventually, na, na, naka, the more I tattoo, na, mas naganahan ko, and then the more nga nakaila kong mas naganahan tao sa community, mas na-inspired ko, tungkol sila mga story po, sila mga, sila mga, like career, on sila kinabuhi ka ro, way back, on sa, so that that hand you kayo naka kuan ako ba na naka na encourage you mga tao na lain. So when you when was the first time you opened a shop? Maybe you can you can sort of uh, bring us to that moment when you opened your first shop. And what was, what was going through your mind? Mm. This was probably I imagine twelve years ago, right? Yeah. 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 Um, first, first tattoo studio. Yeah. Ang first get tattoo studio na ko is in is in my small in our small house. Okay. Sa Gawas. So um, I think murag ma ma para man siguro. Siya, gamay rin siya. Masuod rin siya, ka tao, actually, then. Kuhan lang ka nang... I decided na na mag, mag-open og uh, tattoo shop by my own because mo na, na-inspire ko sa sa mga tao nga, lang, grabe ha eh. Di ka siya din, now na na siya shop. And then, ang gibuhat is, every time na mo kita ko sa, sa, sa tattoo, ako siyang isave. And then, mupalit ko, ginahinay og kanang gamit para tattoo, like tattoo bed. Um, sterilizer. Unsa man na diyan gamit sa shop, printer, computer. So inihinay ko until until mura ko mura ko gwapo ko shop, pero mura ko ga ga ga, ga ko ano ko sa future ba nga mao ni akong shop. So inihinay and then I I build my own um small Where was this? Shop. Where was in, this? In Labangon. Okay. So mao ta akong first uh 2013 nga um and then redeem ta to ako na gini siyang gigamit as as a uh, as a tattoo name sa akong kuan ba murag shop so was redeem tattoo born 12 years ago or fairly recently na? yeah no um, 12 years ago yeah so redeem na gito from the get go okay. from the beginning I always like kani kani mo ni akong ganahan na okay. redeem tattoo mo gina akong ganahan so um wa ko ni consider like boots brand on tattoo something like that because ang akong vision is himo gi shop shop like na like nagi murag company murag na na ba so murag grabe gyud kay akong vision ba murag akong 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 pagtanaw sa career murag siya kanan okay if if i want to make something at what point in your life butch did you think uh, or boots i should say um <laughs> uh, at what point in your life uh, did you feel that you can make a living off of this i know that you had a point in your life when you had to choose there was a fork in your life whether to choose uh, skateboarding and or tattooing and you chose uh, obviously tattooing right um, when did you feel that you were 
But am I human God? I'm, I'm good at this. What point in your life was this? Um, I think panahon lang sa and then um, uh, I remember ko na a year nga um, nak, nakadaog ko first na ko nga competition nga nadaogan is mura ko glow wow, na overwhelmed ko ba? And after that, clients coming in and then another competition nakadaog na put ko. So mura yag, okay, maybe maybe para ako agad nino kay okay. nahitabo man siya and then and so then, when you bought your first tattoo uh, machine, when you open your uh, tattoo studio, di pa kasi gurado ato. Di pa oh, so I didn't consider that like ter- uh, kwan to ta- so before 2013, ako ng gisod yung shop nagsigi na ko tattoo ato, but mm. dili lang permitte, mura balay lang kadang. On, bisag- so you were still uh, uh, not sure mm, whether mm. this was going to be a career yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. Oh, uh, so were you dabbling with something else na nakagibuhat na line aside yeah, from tattooing um, or you were just focusing on tattooing at that time, kuan, 2013? Um, um, kuan siya, kanang, nag-open ko ang clothing line, ng business. Okay. Um, I named it uh, February Clothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, nahimu siya, for, for five years, nagdagan siya, which is, nindot ang daga na to, and, and then, eventually, the clothing line, um, mga local clothing lines, ay naghan, and then, I realized nga, okay, um, dili gid siya, ingnon sad nga, kanang, like, um, profitable, profitable, like, like, 100%, but still, nindot niya pong kayo, and for me, I always like, kanang, ang vision magod sa February clothing is just, for the community ba, for the skateboarding community, it's, it's all about, like, um, having a small events, and then, having, like, riders nga, matabangan na to, nga, mailado sa, sa community, something like that, and then, masponsoran, so, mom get the, um, basic. Uh, so while vision. you were doing a T-shirt business called yeah. February, a t- uh, fashion line, yeah. you were also tattooing. Yeah, tattooing. So um, when did your career start picking up? When you started receiving awards? Is that when your yeah, sort I, of your career like took off? Mm, yeah, I think mao na gito siya, and then and then I realized nga ang uh, um, um, clients coming in, cl- clients kanang lain 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 lugar ma, like may may buong na lang ta, may, na labang mo na muna, tagalap ola po ang client, mo atog sa balay. And then, I'm like, I'm going to get a lot of money. 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 I'm going to get a If I build up my portfolio and build up my name sa sa aning industry, and maybe like, I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money. So, I'm going to get a lot of money. And then, maybe it's time to get a lot of comfort zone. And then, time nga mag magstablish ng gigug kanang shop gud ba nga um, business nga gud siya nga um, nas gawas makita ang mga tao so i can i can tattoo for work in ana ba so and then mo to um and gladly na ni success man sa <laughs> um you you mentioned that you're fascinated with the fact that uh, you you see an artwork done on a piece of paper or a canvas and then it is uh, uh, tattooed on somebody's uh, body part right w- wherever it is and you found that fascinating that you uh, will be able to uh, be a part of that person's life forever because that too stays with them uh, for all time, right? Yeah. Um, you mentioned also that one of the things that you're intrigued about is the stories that you hear. Um, so you're sort of like a tattoo artist slash psychiatrist yeah. <laughs> for these people, right? So Actually, oh, what, what do you mean by that? Uh, what do you mean by uh, stories? Do uh, these people uh, that get tattoos confess to you certain things that you would otherwise they would not tell anyone because you, you, they have to tell you the story about that tattoo what happens uh, um, yeah, actually i think maka relate kita nang tattoo artist and okay. uh, i think that tattoo artist is like a barbers na to ba like oh. me i have like paborito nga barbero adore jud ko niya eh mag story anay mo mag story anay mo o mag story anay mo kumusta yung anak o kumusta yung mga so i think ma all sa gid na ang 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 essence sa getting a tattoo ba as I said, if maybe longer conversation. Yeah, right? longer conversation. Like, you're like, done, right? And but, but not by sessions, it's like eight hours. Exactly. So imagine, like, maybe two hours, you're waiting, guy, and then five hours, you're still going to the And then the more na 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 ka, na ka sa iyang story, na kahibaw ka sa iyang gagian, so the more ka mura guwag, na hindi ito, you know? And then, so that, that's part of, of uh, sort of uh, uh, the, the job, right? Yeah. And to listen, right? Yeah, to listen. Uh, and and to also, to, like, as an artist, mwanhi ang, ang client, they have the idea sa ilang utok. Yeah. So you need you, you need to know how to listen po dun sa on sa ilang on sa ilang ganahan nga design as ibutang and then you also kanang explain ba kung let's say ang kaninga area ang ribs delicious straight imong basta imo siyang imo gid siyang subtone ba and then 
you, ang, ang trabaho sa artist is to provide what is on sa gina silang huna huna ng design ba? And then sometimes, like I talk to the client in front, and then sometimes my drawing ko whatever na on sa iya hangganahan, and end up like okay maybe sa akong sa akong style is um, I akong panihaw na akong client, and then we we can talk personally, and then design the 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 let's say full sleeve, and then one day lang kita ng dili mi magtatu magstorya lang ni about sa iyang design. And then after na ako nang trabaho sa balay and then makita mi balik or ako isen niya ang design so it's always like you always listen to your client and na, na mo good sa client na mo access ba nga ay ganahan jud ko ani but sa sa iyang design nga ganahan and then sa prop sa part na iyang ganahan ni butang um, complicated so also you need to go like um uh what's it gonna imo explain og tarong ba like ma'am kani kani so so I think mura sa gidjag kanang sa unsa na nga makasabot ka sa tao ba. So part I, I heard somebody once say I remember this years ago somebody once said I don't feel strongly about anything in life for it to stay forever in my body. Uh, because tattoos are forever, right? And there's nothing that this person feels I forgot who this uh, got this quote from. There's nothing that I feel about anything that I want forever. Uh, explain to us the idea of having an artwork on you forever. Um, what what happens if, uh, for example, uh, that uh, piece of work is no longer true? You know, for example, if if, if, if you if you believe that the the world is flat and you have a tattoo like uh, <laughs> on your body that says that the world is flat, and then you realize, fuck, the world is not flat. The world is actually sp sp spherical. So, um, w what are your thoughts about about something that stays in your body forever that's no longer true? Do you um, look back at it and say, hey, this is uh, when I was a fucking idiot. And I thought that... <laughs> Actually, nagin sa gina. That's when the... No, na yung muna kita wagan na po tattoo cover up or okay. tattoo enhance or tattoo... Or laser, laser tattoo. So, okay. whatever, whatever good kay... Di, di mang yun ka ka... Di, as, mo gina, before you, before you get ink, like, think like a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Or think about your design, think about... Unsa na. Because tattoo... So, is the world really flat? Yeah, think about that really hard, right? <laughs> so, well, okay, um, if 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 considering uh, like hey, like can you come on with your Hey, boots. Another client na nagpatato sa pangalan siya ng uyab, and then nagbuwag, and then yan hindi mo cover up, and so mura kana. Okay, so, um, so do you, do you design the tattoo in a way ng cover up on another one? Well, okay, so, so do you, I, do you, I don't do suggest you, that. Do you, do you talk to their to them and ask them about how's your relationship with this person? <laughs> uh, what, what, what's his zodiac sign? Are they compatible? Kung dili compatible, but hindi mo lang ina. Hindi na ako nito to. Mipso lang tani kay mo lang mo lang padong kini na. Alams na. So and then um, okay na uh, if before you get tattoo, you need to think like hundred percent like okay. grab it and mo na um, for me as at daghan malud um, we we people sometimes. Um, um, buy a lot of things like cell phones, mahal kayo, and then you you invest a lot of things na mawala ba? And then for tattooing, for me also it's like an investment, but ba? Same on self. An investment. Yeah, it's like, same as like because if you put your tattoo here, mausab good ang imong outside appearance because wala ba na nimo sa una. It's 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 kind of unnatural. Yeah, so no, na na tattoo so so mausab siya. But the thing is, ang katay mo invest is makita ni mo and then more sa ginay madani mo sa imong grave like you you buy you buy a lot of things you buy like expensive painting you buy like but a painting's value yeah, value increases yeah yeah uh, increases time, every right? time yeah a tattoo does it increase the value yeah of, but, but of the, the thing tattoo? is if Can you we, remove it from your uh, arm and then sell it to somebody else no no <laughs> but you know what sa so Japan mm. um like they, they have like this body suit every na na ginay siya nga nga gi Ang namatay nga person punog tato ilang yung kwaon ng skin. I know somebody uh, who wants that. <laughs> and then ilang i display, ilang i display. Okay. Yeah, so na yun sa na nahita po sa na dere sa kalibutan. Di ba culturally, um, tattoos in Japan? Um, I think you you mentioned this during our off uh, off cam off my conversation that it was your mother who experienced uh, what was a tattoo in in Japan and yeah. it, it was like a, a representation of something not so nice for for her. So that's how uh, tattooing started, and maybe you can give our viewers a little bit of history. Um, um, what's the uh, 
uh, beginnings, the genesis of, of tattooing. I think it's different yeah. per culture, right? Culture, yeah. Maybe you can bring us back to tattooing in the Philippines. Uh, when did tattooing begin? Because I know there's this old mm -hmm. lady from somewhere yeah. um, uh, who tattoos uh, using a Baguio, sa, Baguio uh, right? Si Wangod. Um, Wangod, yeah. yeah. So maybe uh, you can give us the Philippine um, uh, genesis of tattooing. Sa akong may is um, Asia good. Uh, basically, especially Philippines, tattooing has been here. Na good. It's part of our culture. Ba? And then, eventually, we're na kalimta na sa panahon. Na na ba? But if you go back, like para na lang wangod, um, they, they get tattooed because um, na sila, like achievement or unsa or they being part of the tribe or something like yeah, that. So That's what it was. Yeah. It was um, like a marker yeah. for, for a tribe, yeah. right? You belong to uh, Tribe yeah, A, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 So, Dili na gina siya bago sa sa atua as a Filipino as a, a part sa Asia nga country because we already kanang sa atong imo yung basaho nung ang history na na gina siya part na siya sa ato ang koan culture and then nausab lang gid siguro because um um time nga uh, slowly nakalimitan sila and but now um um nindot kayo ang hitabo ba because we already acknowledge that the the old people like Wang Ud and then Muna, for me, it's part good. And then, nidako siya um, um, way back uh, na naay mga navy from the the, the like army yun sa panadya. And they, they get they get tattoo like kana mga navy seal, kana mga old school nga st style sa una. Amer Americans are foreigners who, who who dock here in the Philippines and want to get a tattoo. No, no, dili dili but um, nidako na siya good uh, nga na ilhan good sa tibok ni kalibutan. Because of this concept, nga ikaw as an army or as a navy, um, anytime wabi ka kay bawo like mamatay ka sa gira on sa maputuli mo o ano ba? They always put like markers sa yung lang lang lawas. So his name is Sailor Jerry. Um, all the navy sa on na manhak niya para magpamark mark magpatatu. And then eventually, um, ni dako siya celebrities um, getting tattooed and ba so because one of the things that I've um, I um, know this is uh, of course a uh, very random thought um, kanang mga priso ba yeah. most of the people in, in, in the in the in the in the jail uh, systems all over the world have tattoos right yeah. and it's so, sort of like a marker mm -hmm. um, so um, what do you have to say about that and how has tattooing uh, the, the perception of having a tattoo Evolved, evolved yeah. from being a uh, uh, a stamp of being an ex-con oh, yeah. to uh, uh, something maybe perhaps uh, uh, glamorous, like, yeah, fashion, is, yeah. fashionable, yeah. Or, or or cool. Yeah. How how did it evolve? How did it get from that point to where we are now yeah. in 2020? Yeah, um, way back good. Um, we all know. Uh, okay, if you have tattoo, um, that's uh, that's our old um, like uh, papa or nsa pa na ilang tanaw sa tattoo um, way back. Gikan ka sa prison because I I mean that's real good nga nga I don't I don't mean a real jina kung nakita tuk gikan ka sa prison. What I mean is most of them have tattoos. Oh, sa 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 so good. You you get tattoo there para makahibaw sila ng unsa kang a unsa kang a grupo unsa pa na diya so tribe yeah tribe or something so and then eventually I think ang naka evolve sa tattooing na accepted siya because of like people ng mga influential ba like celebrities. Um, and then people that um, tattoo community um, make a tattoo convention nga they, they held like a one, one, once in a year na event that all tattoo artists or tattoo artists from all over the world gather and then from there people pa, people can go in bisa kun sa pakada doctor unsa pa na diha mo go mo suot yang ato sa convention you will see different types of tattoo and then Ma na na kay na na kay knowledge okay dili magidinini siya nga dili magidinini about prison nga style gyud eh and then eventually ang 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 tattoo pud na evolve pud ang mga equipment ang mga ink ang mga the way how the tattoo technology. presented yeah the technology yeah. has improved and dramatically then, yeah like Asa, aside from the uh, myth of uh, being badass uh, being a ex con what are the other myths about uh, somebody with a tattoo uh, that uh, is not true uh, that uh, is no longer true, at least. Aside uh, from aside from being an ex-con, what what are the other myths that you'd like to correct? Go ahead. Um, I think kwan lang yun. Basically, mga myth ane kana ng like gikan sa prison, gikan sa gikan sa kwan. Um, unsa pa may lain nga kwan na um kwan if let's say if if na kay if imong profession is kana ng like 
like let's say kana doctor ka not like daghan tawo nga okay di siguro ka pwede mag mag maguan di siguro pwede mag magpatatu kay because you're operating ana ba but end up like nagay pay tawo nga magpatatu like you're a doctor on sabi na dia even like nakas government but i think na na break na gyud na siya um, norm when you say a doctor getting a tattoo and it's not allowed uh, i think the idea here is that's uh, a medical question yeah, right? yeah, yeah. A, a health oh. question yeah so when 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 a doctor is not allowed to get a tattoo it's because uh, there are certain risks yeah, yeah. involved yeah. Uh, if someone has a, a yeah. tattoo right i, I think diligent you know na like dili, in fact, diligent in fact, you, you, in fact you can't get uh, you can't donate blood if if uh, you have a tattoo that, that's right? yeah. but um, is is that still true because i know um, sa akong number 1 um, it's still true right you have like at least one year okay. daw nga 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 you getting tattoo karon one year pa ka maka 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 donate of blood so um what what are the health um, implications uh, but i know that the technology of getting a tattoo has improved dramatically sanitation has improved dramatically uh, but uh, still there are um, um, risks albeit minor yeah. so uh, wh what are the risks involved if somebody gets a tattoo um, yeah so actually if you come in another shop uh, number one is the sanitary um, like all like us um, someone gigamit is all kanang disposable so ang needle tanan yun, like ink cups So we, and we always use gloves. Tanan jud disposable siya and tanan as uh, sanitized. That's why we have a sanitar kanang sanitizer. So and then actually ma complicated ang tattoo if ang um, part gina siya sa artist o sa client. And then the, the client's job is after you getting tattoo, you need to take care of the tattoo gud. Like na mga tao nga hugi kag tattoo and then pak muligog dagat. Muligog dagat after ana. So dako gid siya go and so hmm. Ang risk sa getting tattoo after the getting tattoo is how you, how also how you take care of it. Um, number one is likay ka sa beach, beach um, swimming pool, ana so yeah, direct sunlight. This is yung pwede um, night night chances nga mo mo kanang tawag na ma madaot ang tattoo or ma maunsa imo panit so risk yeah and then that's why you also need to uh, Uh, check your artist or check the tattoo shop if ah, okay and then and then dako ko nang gamit ang kanang kanang unsay man nasulti sa tao ba okay ganahan ko ani niya kay limpyo gagi something like that so and then it's always work with the uh, artist and a client so ang part sa client limpyohan jud nimo imong tattoo every every Get, getting a tattoo uh, is is a uh... Uh, or can be a painful experience, right? Don't you need to have some sort of minimum uh, medical condition? Uh, what if you have a heart condition? What if if you have a, a, a you know a skin condition? Mm -hmm. what, what what if you have a blood condition? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, do, don't you want to ascertain uh, that uh, you know make sure nga wakay kana kaning kaning basic heart attack or or maybe you have a blood condition yeah. or a skin condition? That, that, what sort of initial medical? Uh, uh, Diagnosis, if the word is is appropriate, do you make before you give somebody a tattoo? Um, actually, ang basic nga conversation is kung ano um, wala ba siya skin kanang wala siya allergies on sa pana and then um also well, as I said, if you're getting tattooed, you need to like think about it and then you need to also put nga think about your health ba and then kami as a tattoo artist, our job is um to create something sa mong panit and then it's in, in, involved nga pain and ana so. Among I suggest is mas maayo good if you're getting tattoo um, if na kay health conditions unsa you need like check up before and then take take a good rest before the tattoo session di kamo inom di, di kamo um tog late na kayo much better if mas relax mo panit and you come here uh, dala kag um, something like uh, sugar like kanang coke um, chocolate something because maka boost up man sa imong kanang uh, kanang kuan atawa na pain tolerance and then and then para na ko this is alcohol no yeah coke lang coke okay. or um, chocolate something ana so not 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 sweets. Uh, alcoholic not, yeah yeah we we don't uh, tattoo because uh, i know somebody who drink red horse <laughs> before a tattoo nagi mga tao siguro pero here sa shop we don't allow it lang get cake um, the thing is if magtattoo me and then nakainom ang tao ang blood kusog siya so Parts artist nga 
Um, madugay na nun, madugay na nun human kay because ang 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 ink dugay mo penetrate sa skin. So, mag yun sa part of usap pud kapoy pug deal sa hubog. <laughs> what was your worst uh, tattooing experience? What? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to give names, just the worst. Maybe somebody died in front of you what? Kana <laughs> <laughs> um siguro akatong na no na babae nga Um, he's from, she's from New York, Banya. Now she's three days lang dari sa Cebu. Okay. And we need to finish good the cook yung kaya hang tattoo from here okay. to the river. So I tell her nga, pahuwal ng gitaro nga ba. The third day, ni niinom siya, niinom day siya, niya nabuntagan sila, and niya niya sa shop, and then nagpatattoo siya. And then end up, naluya gud siya. Like I saw her nga, look, naluya gud siya. So moto nga, ano ba nga? One I think at sa shop, you don't know. So uh, what, what what? And then what, yeah, what happened? Ah, ako siya, ako, ako siya, What's ako, so crazy about that? Pa, pa, ako murag murag yung ganang anang wala ko na ratul pero murag ako lang siyang gikonsider ng murag. Murag siya na kuyapan murag mahal. Oh, oh murag siya mag mag naluya gud siya ng murag. Uh, kita di ko niya bang murag. Uh, okay. Ato lang sa ning stop. Ato lang sa ning stop kay. Di, so did he? Maga. Did she cancel her trip back to New York because of that? Yeah, yeah. Adili, wala. Kuan, and, and so unfinished ang inyong, inyong artwork? Yeah, unfinished ang artwork. So, really? Yeah, so the next year, nibalik siya. Ah, luckily, okay. So, so mauto nga. Ako lang siyang gipahinda. Gipa, drink ko ka ng warm water and everything. Take care. We take care of her. And then, yeah, tataon na. Okay na siya. So what, what, what is the uh, most intriguing, interesting story <laughs> you've heard from uh, uh, many of your clients? Just pick one. Pick ah, one client. okay. Dagan man, um, intriguing. Mo na kanang kanang mga kanang mga uyab-uyab or tell us the tato. story. Boots, tell us. <laughs> Nay part nga katong nagpatato siya sa iyang name, mm-hmm. sa name sa iyang uh, uyab and then ni balik siya couple of months nagpa-cover up. And so akong gi-cover up, so ako tong trabaho. So okay, ni nagbalik na po sila. Nagbalik na po sila. So uncover can, can you uncover up something? Yeah, yeah. Iyan na siyang ipatato sa lang part. So, weird yung gaya sa ako. So, what? Ayun mo rin. Listo ba? Ano yung explain niya? Nakover up na to, di ba? Ganaan na siyang ipatato sa lang part. Na sad. So, I was like, okay. <laughs> Imo, ganaan mo ganaan. So, and luckily, wala naman siya ni Malik. Maybe, wala naman siya nagbuhag. <laughs> so, wala ba? So, ano yun? So, Nailangin ko ng story nga, mga soya ni mga ng shop. So, <laughs> nailangin sa nga tao mo. So, so, Give me one more story. <laughs> Go on, um, <laughs> go on, uh, private parts. So, okay. Ano ba? So, uh, so, nakasabay ito, ano? So, um, awkward siya, ano ba? Adi man, get awkward yun. Um, so, somebody asked you to give them a tattoo in a private, private part. Private part, yeah. Okay. So, so ano, so, um, ganahan siya, ano nga, specific design, kaya okay. mo ni ganahan sa iyang Paris, and something okay. like that. So, I mean, deal it professionally, kapon, uh, mo na siya. And then, imagine, nagtato ko na yung Paris niya sa tubangan, so, murag, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay naman kita yun siguro niya, naman niya pari. So, mm. Mga na, weird siya gamay eh, because um, nagtattoo ka sa akin ng area but the end of the day, while you're doing the tattoo, you're always like focusing the art man. Sometimes mawaan na yung momentum sa pagka-awkward, wala, nawaan na ang kuhan. So, mo lang na, kay people think bang, oh, gividiyohan ka, private part, you think, ah, nakuhan yun siya rin siya, nakuyawan. So, but the thing is, if you do, if you focus sa katong design lang, sometimes mawaan na yung ang ka-awkward. But, pero mo na, Morgan, every artist nagi experience na so. <laughs> you know, but I, I'm a, a huge uh, NBA fan, and I see a lot of NBA players have gazillion tattoos. And I was thinking to myself, man, this is probably a billion dollar business in the United States. Um, here in the Philippines, but tell us, uh, um, what kind of uh, um, industry, uh, uh, if we can call it that already, yeah. is uh, that tattoo industry? Is, is it already? Uh, Big because I think tattoos are no longer something that's uncommon, right? Mm-hmm. In fact, I, I see a tattoo everywhere, everywhere yeah. that I go, right? Yeah. So it is it, it is already very common. Has it become a, uh, a a big industry here in the Philippines, in Cebu, yeah. in particular? Yeah, I actually agree, Jugana. Like even even mu mu tan out as a life ni Sir Ronnie Makapagal. Like he he na na pagraduit niya yahang anak pinagi sa tattooing nakapalis sa balay nakapalit sa lekshakanan. Like na as in a buhi gid siya and I think ang industry karon sa tattooing bi, ni dako gid siya um, especially na ating mga international competition even sa Cebu na natay 
Ato ang kagulingon international con convention like people from all over the world mani sa Cebu just to just to enter the convention. So that go good. And then actually, if you treat this um um uh, job na maayo, it will give back to you like thousand thousand fold. Gitan. You mentioned uh, Ronnie, uh, who's also a dear friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, was he one of the pioneers of tattooing yeah, here in Cebu? Yeah. Would you um, say that? Yep, yeah, yeah. Um, nagsubaybay jigo sa yah. Wala ko niya agin yah as sa shop, but I always look up to him how he handled the business, how he handled people and everything. And then mamis ka ba? And mamis ka ngawa? Pwede gidi ni may tabu sa atong kinabuhi no. So ano ba? So mo tong a parang nako as tattooing industry nowadays is kwan nagit ka ng dako nagit yah like. Na yung mga call center agents sa una, niya karoon, na yung mga tattoo artist, nibiya sila sila ng day job just to focus in tattooing. And then, na-survive sila. Na-survive ang ilang kuhan. Ilang daily nga panginanglan. Okay. Tattooing is already a big industry here in Cebu. Then, back in January, and of course, beginning in March of 2020, we had a lockdown because of the pandemic. And suddenly, all business stopped, especially uh, tattooing yes. and uh, all of those uh, close contact uh, activities mm -hmm. had to be stopped because mm -hmm. you know you couldn't possibly tattoo um, uh, <laughs> with with uh, with, uh, with uh, social distancing, yeah. right? You, you can't tattoo from afar, mm -hmm. right, or remotely. So everything was at a screeching halt in uh, March of 2020 of this year. Um, what was going through your mind during the lockdown, Boots? And uh, uh, did you have uh, any uh, uh, fears? Uh, and uh, what were those fears? And uh, did you try to pivot? Did you try to move somewhere else and uh, do something that's, uh, that, that doesn't require you mm -hmm. to be up close okay. with somebody? Yeah, so um, when I heard about the pandemic, is it real? And then suddenly, pilakaw si man na murag, wow, murag kinuod na kita ni. So, what I think, ang pag-ingon sa sa among tenant na rin, he called me and he boots, he need to like close the kung lang yun shop for a couple of months para aning pandemic, ipakulod lang sa nato. So, akong ginuod na, pata yun, saan ako pagbayad sa bills and everything and then, my partner is pregnant again, so that's how I can survive. And then, sadly, even closed the shop, we're still paying rent in our area. And so, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not going to survive. And then, I was like, I'm not and then nakatigom tigom gamay at least nakabayad sa mga kuwang dere but as a father po na sa side na ako murag nagthink ko unsa ko na ako pag pag pang ano makakita kaya ko kwarta no anong during aning panahon na which is this okay yon end up like I'm always uploading videos um kanang DIY videos ba nga mga build na ko something like that so I, I what, what, what build yeah mo, what do you mean what I I'm build? like building furnitures uh, ah, so you want building you you want to build stuff yeah build build stuff okay. yeah so and then I decided oh maybe like I can I can um, start like YouTube YouTube channel like DIY how to build this how to build that so I, I did that and then and then people like okay oh, nalingaw ang mga tao siguro how, how I build something like this from from one of my build is like simple like Jack Daniels bottle. I, I created it. Gihim mo na kong lamp, which is nas balay. So, gihim mo siyang lamp. So, I, I, I put like a lamp na nang kang suga dito. So, and then people like, oh, boots, tagpila na siya. Pwede na ako maritun. So, <laughs> so, end up like, okay. So, nakahalin ko. And then, eventually, um, guys from Red Bull saw me um, building my own skate park sa balay. So, nagihim mo kong ako ang DIY skate park na ako dito sa balay. During pandemic, bawa ko lingaw so, nakita sila ng, nakita sila ng, oh, nindo tampa kabuhat na ba so, interested sila so ang ending, they contact me to build their own training facility ba, skate skateboarding facility, which is parang ako ba, mga blessing where where this one is in Busay, okay, oh so blessing kaya parang ako, salamat yung ginoo kay, which is I've been skating for like almost my whole life. I know like how the obstacles 
um, unse purma, unse feel, unsa tanan and then mao bugi gihatag nga trabaho nako ba. Which is kana gyud duol kay sa ko kasing kasing ba, which is kung kaya daghan man siguro mo build ana nga type of mga nga 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 obstacle but if you're not really like um, riding it you don't know how it feels di ka di ka sabot sa skater unsay unsay sakto nga unsay sakto nga kuan so as a skater nakasabot ayong eh, go pagingon nila sa design naghimo na ning design 250 square meter full skate park gid nga akong gi design so, is it done already yeah it's done already but we're still like um, putting uh, a lot of things there so um Sorti jo kayo nga na napili ko nga mobile build ato and then I end up like um, hiring people dayon and then this time is during pandemic niha na dugay mi ang materials dugay kinaabot dili dili pa pwede nga ma-deliver ana nga, nga time because of stricto ana ba so that's part of the challenge pod na na dapat nako ma-pull out ba and then I talked to this guy nga oh he owns a hardware and then maybe like we can get permit para ma para ma malahos ning ato para masugdan dayon as soon as possible because i also need to earn ano ba so um so moto and so lucky nga nga na connect us mga right people ba and then end up nga during pandemic um well well wala ko nang tattoo i end up being a contractor being a a carpenter like or <laughs> slash architect slash because I design everything and then we build like everything man so from scratch so mona during pandemic um happy ko kay moto nga nataganog chance ba nga at least part of my skills nagamit yan eh ano ba even though wala ko ni skwila about ana but my passion o akong my ideas gani nga always like popping out and always like hey how about this let's do this you mentioned that you never went to school for for this for tattooing mm -hmm. because I don't think there's a school. Although <laughs> there could be a school, there should be a school for tattooing nowadays. And yeah. you, you you built stuff and you were able to uh, get that uh, particular uh, job of uh, building the red horse. Uh, skate, oh, no. skate. Red Bull, Red Bull. Sorry. <laughs> As a Norwegian slip. I think I need a red horse. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, so. Um, so that that's what happened to to you during during yeah, the during uh, pandemic. pandemic. But you never went to school for this. Where did you learn all of these specialized skills? Which um, uh, yeah. tell me, explain to me how you learn all of the, these. Maybe katong bata skills. Oh, because I always saw my grandfather ba nga mo mo build og like bisagun salay yung he build dito sa balay. So oh, pirmi ko nag look up niya bang ah inanaon si And then nowadays you you got YouTube, you got like how to build this, how to build that, and then. I know a lot so of. Were you already building stuff with your grandfather? Did you say grandfather? Yeah. yeah. Uh, were you already building stuff with yeah, yeah, your yeah. grandfather? Yeah. Uh, I when, built my first cabinet when, when, when I was kid. like maybe fourteen. Okay. So he wake ayo, oh. but I built that. So more okay. ali pa yung kawas. So sa mga yung nagigawa uh, sa si mong pangamot mahog. So oh, because of your uh, grandfather. Uh, oh, right? so na na hilig na ginana ko nga bukuti kote sa balay o sa ikuan because of lah, mo na ako nadakan ba ng mga So where did you learn all of these technical skills? Let's say building a skateboard park. Um, it's difficult because you know there are certain like curbs, yeah. certain things that you need to uh, uh, make sure that uh, nothing happens, yeah, nothing yeah, bad yeah. happens, yeah. right? No accidents happen. Mm -hmm. And all the where did, where did you learn your sort of your technical skills? Um, na ni develop lang gisya along the way, especially pandemic. Pandemic times, so I always like watch videos how to how to do this, how to do that. Ah, okay. yeah, so I always like learning. As I said, ganahan ko, ko learn new stuff. Ganahan ko, ganahan ko ko nga. Oh, ko versatile kay ko ba nga? Kanang pirmi ko mag, ano, curious ko ba? Unsa ko pagi mo ano? Ano ba? But um, looking back. Uh, Looking back at that time when you were a kid and you built your first uh, aparador, your first cabinet, uh, looking back at, at your life uh, before you have some sort of a, a success story now with uh, a, a, a tattoo studio, you've been tattooing for 12 years. Did you imagine that you would be at where you are now, you know, 12 15, maybe when you were 14 years old, did you ever imagine that you would get to this moment right here, uh, right now? Wala gid, wala gid ko nga ganoon na. It's all about, para na ko, um, actually, I never think it na may mo ginin ako siyang bread and butter as, as being a tattoo artist. I've been, um, daghan ko trabaho nga na, so yan, like, 
um, um, I even became a conductor sa jeep for my uncle's uh, jeepney for for a couple of months and then whatever nga pwede na ko pangwartahan akong sudlan so um hardinero like cattle grasses sa uh, masilingan something like that so pwede medyo kong ga pers uh, ba sa akong life because i saw how 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 life is ganang really difficult ba sa akong side so i end up the more mat moto the more ko nakasabot sa tattooing and even skateboarding nakita na ko kung passion nga wow this feels like nga na wala dili uli, dili siya trabaho ba and then from that time nga na feel to na ko wala gyud ko siya buhi and then until now um, i'm still like learning i'm still like developing like my skills and everything so para na ko um, i think ang life mo dili mo gyud siguro ka our, our plan sa atong kinabuhi mo dili mo gyud pirmi nga ma, ma, mahitabo the way you wanna anang mahitabo inana di ba so uh, for me it's all about like passion nga once i passionate ka sa akong gibuhat it feels nga dili siya trabaho even if tattoo magtato ko 8 hours a day i don't feel like stressed out like actually every time i do a tattoo mo na ako ang kanang zen zone na ako uh, every time mo tattoo ko more energy ma 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 cover ma 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 re ma release ang katong stress and everything you're in a zone yeah you're in a zone ba nga sometimes di ko mo tingog for the session because i'm i'm into it like so what happens yeah. if somebody just confesses to you something uh, okay ba mga gigsorya mga gamon ko okay <laughs> so you can still hear them yeah oh mister ya gamon i'm tr i'm trying to figure out what you are if you're in a zone yeah um uh, actually my routines sa akong the way i tattoo i always listen to podcasts okay. i always listen to like um, audiobook, something. So, okay. Like, it makes me, like, akong mind galihok, but I'm still doing an art piece, something okay. like that. Yeah. Maugin na akong routine. Yeah, so. <laughs> so you listen to a podcast. Yeah. So you, I'm sure you don't understand anything the word, uh, word that the person says, right, when you're, when you're listening to the podcast. Yeah. You're, you're focusing on the, on the artwork, but just voices in your head. Yeah, yeah. voices. I mean, makasabot ka pong ko. Especially ang topic mo, ni. Interesting. But you're still, like, doing. Mura magog kag... Ang imong akong mind is nag, nag That's interesting. Yeah, okay. nag, yeah, that, that's that's the way I tattoo. Like that, my akong mind naglihok, but I'm still focusing in the tattoo. So I can listen like magstorya. Ikaw kita tawon ti ka magstorya ta. I still hear what you said, but I'm still focusing in my on my on my tattoo. Week. So do you have like is this like a relaxing voice? Yeah, uh, I mean the voice that you're listening to in the podcast. I'm just curious because sometimes sometimes any random yeah, any, podcast? Any, yeah, any so random podcast. No specific kind of voice in general? No, Because no. I imagine if a voice is relaxing, you know, boots, <laughs> <Makatuga>. <laughs> do well, or whatever, yeah. I can imagine it to be like music. Because yeah. I can understand people listening yeah. to music. Som sometimes when, they listen to music. When, when they want to yeah. be pumped up and yeah, yeah, ready yeah. to go, right? That, that's yeah. what they do to pump yeah. themselves up. But you listen to a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so is this an inspirational podcast? Is this a yeah. just, or random podcast? Uh, yeah, random podcast. Wow, right? interesting, um, Boots. Yeah, UFC or uh, or random podcast nga um, talk about um, politics and anything nga, mm -hmm. nga and even I even enjoy anang imong interview ni Sir Kwan si Esco so <laughs> I, I listen to that actually I've been listening to your podcast for oh the mayor of, of um, Manila yeah so even si um, Paes yeah. I, I listen to that one also while I'm doing that too yeah. so na nakatunan so I'm a I'm a parang ako I'm a person ba nga na always like listening is Important kayo na ako. So, I always learn. You're a sponge. Yeah, I'm a sponge. Ba? Pero may kong absorb. Like, like naghangin ko na katunan. Like, I will never be in my life na makastorya ko ano nila. <laughs> but tungod sa iyong podcast, mm -hmm. nakadungo ko silang side ba? Oh. Nakadungo ko sa, oh, hindi na nila yung success story. Dahil so, nindot ba? May muna akong ganahan. Like, always like, motivate myself to, to... After listening to all those podcasts about success stories, now you hear <laughs> a success story yourself too. Yeah, so um, this type of job is so um, a blessing. Um, they, like I, I can I can do this like until I, until like until siguro di na ko ka makatatu. But so so but we have a lot of uh, uh, hopefully a lot of viewers watching this podcast, this interview right now, and uh, they're wondering how you did it. Obviously, you told us the story, right, of how you got. From that 14-year-old kid who built his first uh, uh, cabinet, medyo hiwi hiwi, pero you were already using your hands and you were already getting creative uh, at that time of your life. Uh, but what do you have to tell uh, those people watching this, uh, this interview right now? Um, how should they 
attack life? How should they try to build a career? How can they get to where you are now? Um, for me, um, as a person, sometimes um, um, struggle sa kinabuhi nga, which is like I know a lot of people na kaning a job they hate it, they lose ganahan, but wala sa mabuhat because they need to earn. And sometimes, mabilib ko sa mga tao nga mga tao nga nga ni, ni buhi ani nga day job nga di sila ganahan and pursuing being a photographer, being a freelance, something like that. But they love what they do. And they all, I always like have a huge respect to people like that. Ba? And I always look up to them. And then for me, as, as an individual, um, nga nakasukoy nga sa wakod, nakaroon, nakaluag-luag, uh, for me, it's all about like find the things that you really want to do in your life. Either, either you're earning that much or gamay lang, but hinahinay. Because the, for me, it's, it's all about like, if you're going to be a good person, you always excel ka because you give 110% and ana nga ana ana nga ana klase nga craft. Either you're being a photographer, anything, anything. Like people, like na kung mga mga tao nga na ilhan nga, they they like they just like to encourage people. Yeah. They they just wanna talk to someone like that. So, para na ko, it's always like focus. Always like ang na mas magud nato is asa ta asa asa ang atong asa asa ta na inla ba sa usa ka sa usa ka part sa atong ginabuhi find your yeah, passion find your passion mo gina siya but so you so, mentioned about imong kalisod you know mm -hmm. uh, you saw how your your mom raised you as a single mother and, and all that stuff and and you were doing odd jobs like uh, gardenero conductor <laughs> and all that stuff sometimes mo good boots when a person faces difficulty they shrink they shrivel they mo mo surrender lang sila they give up um, what made you keep on keeping on? What was the thing that made you pursue your dreams with so much fire that you were able to get to, to where you are now? What's your secret sauce, man? Um, actually, um, I'm... Why, why didn't you give up? I'm pretty lucky and I surround with mga positive people, like, okay. like my pastor, like um, people that I look up to. Na nasa industry po nga they they experience a lot ba and then your pastor yeah so okay. um um he always like encourage me nga every time na nam gitay pagsuway sa kinabuhi di mo gyud makalikayan so um actually i've i've been in a lot of kanang uh experience bad experience um uh so para na ko nga ni survive siguro ko or unsay naka naka padayan ako is moto nga kanang I uh, always always think bang uh, ang pagsuway were temporary na siya and then whatever nga ako nasuyan dun, um I know tomorrow nagi nagi ugma and then it it helps me to kanang coin bang helps me to kanang pick myself up from from that problem or from that situation and then I always think good for me nga um Always think nga, nagpasal, always grateful ba sa akong kinabuhi nga, wow, nana ako dali karon. Some people are naglisod silang kinabuhi karon. Um, some people are, they don't like their job. But at me, I'm, I'm so blessed to be here and I'm so blessed to, to kananggoan ba. Nga, I'm still doing what I love to do. And always, mo gina akong permi, even though na ako problema, I always think about like, oh, wala ko reason para mo give up. Because like, God proven, proven in my life nga, mo survive yung go. And, he provide everything like para nako like um, clients everything um, whatever financial nga problema and for me maabot gyud sa point na naata na but it's all about like how, how you how you pick yourself up and then continue lang jud continue ra ko wala ra ko ikuan i mean na ko mga 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 doubts in the first place but i always i always like look further na like i, I have a shop i already, I already have a shop established it I daily joko pa ding give up like I need, I need to work hard and But to, um, you mentioned I don't want to pry yeah, yeah. you know but uh, you mentioned that medyo daghan kag mga challenges in life daghan kag kalisod daghan kag you've, you've uh, experienced so many bad things in your life uh, what of all which of all the bad things that happened to your life has become uh, uh, a good thing now, looking back. Which, which of the adversities in your life has transformed you uh, so much that it has uh, contributed uh, to your success now? Maybe you can pinpoint yeah. one um, particular bad event in your life. Actually, that can't mention, but I think um, this, this really, 
this story, I think the story na ko ni sa daghan pa nga interviews. Um, um, way back, aga na nami sa sa mango and skate, and then uh, a guy started shooting everyone. Wow. No, yeah, he randomly shoots. When was everyone. this? This was like 2007, I think 2008. Okay. Um, I mean, like, delete pa ko but it always bring me back to that moment, to that second, ba, nga, how blessed I am, ba, nga, nabuhi gapon. So, um, randomly, this guy shooting someone sa among likod, and then the bullet went through that guy, and then pass, the bullet passed by sa akong neck. Oh, and then, my best friend is in my side. Nila ko sayang ulo. In front of me, Sir Jeg. So, in front of me, nahitabo to. And imagine if ni, atras ko gamay. I'm a, I might not be, be here talking for sure, to me. right? So your friend uh, yeah, passed away. Passed away. Yeah, that that night. Holy shit! Yeah. So uh, whatever, more again, whatever challenges na ako ma 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 experience karon. Wala ni, wala ni mas grabi ato. Magrabi ato. Like that's your best friend for pata mo, and then namatay siya in front of you. Anong ano ba? So more always like. If na ako'y problema ka ron, maraming gunahon ako, o abigay ko, gilong ka ba mong shop sa una? Almost, mga gamit mo, wag tang. But end up, na nakahibaw akong client from Singapore, ako amigo from Australia, they send us money out of nowhere. Wako na ngayon, what anan? The people helping us ba? And then, Maria realize, like, wow, para ko agad siguro ni nga, nga, nga line because people, like, God uses people ba nga, nga provide di hapon. Until daw, ang shop, buhi di hapon. Like, nas ang shop sa una dito sa Escario sa unahan nagsunog nasunog ang barangay sa Luyo duol lang kaya nga mo ang shop na, na, nanguha na mista ng butang kay murag dawat na nako ba mapil gyud eh. kay pila na lang ka balay ba and then, then ang wind ang hangin eh, ni bali and then wa nasunog ang shop so murag wow grabe hay eh. grabe jud kay kanang makaingon ko ba all of those things uh, that you mentioned, katong nasuno, katong ilungkab ka, was not, of course, uh, what happened when you already had this tattoo studio, yeah, or, right? Like, but I'm curious about the name, because it's so relevant to what you were just talking about now. Redeem. Yeah. What, what's up with the name, bro? Ah, uh, Mona, um, the transition sa akong life experience, it's all about, that time, I was struggling, but I was struggling with my life, because... After my best friend died, I think dili ko dili ko person na na align na kung utok ba. I'm always like out drinking, wala ko ipaki because you're sad. And then listen juga yo i i i get over ang katong experience ba. Listen juga siya. Dili siya ah one week running nga guol. Di good like take a lot of years sa imong kinabuhi and always like challenging you ba nga ah kaya ba ba kanang imubot sa mga tanan sa kinabuhi. So mo to nga I realized, and then I, re I read this um, sa part of the Bible that Jesus um, died for us. He redeemed our sin para sa ito. Ah. And I realized, mura mo niga akong ginabuhi. Mura mo niga itong bala nga wala ni Suud sa akong liug. Nga mura gitagaan kong chance. Gitagaan kong chance. I-redeem ang akong, akong kinabuhi. Ganaan ko nga mausab. Mausab akong, mausab akong pananaw sa, sa akong kinabuhi. I don't want, I, dili na ko ganahag dark nga, nga, nga views akong life, ganahag ko, ma, ma straight akong path. So, that always like, balik-balik sa akong utok, redeem, but redeem, <laughs> redeem yourself bro. Okay, what lagi like, laing mo tabang mo, it's always like, ikaw ragid na, ikaw ra, og, 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 ang imuhang og sigad, ikaw ragid, og siya, kung unsa gi gusto ni mo. Like, moto, I, I realize, okay, I put the, ako ni, ibut nang liha, it's always to remind me, nga, whatever happens sa akong life now, Whatever, whatever challenges that comes, pinagi sa shop, sa kong family, sa kong self, I always I think, okay, but proven and tested. Like, like God redeem you from where you are way back. And then that, 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 that really dark experience bought into like sometimes makashare ko ato sa mga client na ko, like having one time na okay client na nagpatato siya and she's, ni start nangyay siya gilak na I was like, like nga no ka, nagsakita ka sa tattoo. And then end up the young, young friend day to in uh, this Russia that night ba. And then dito niya nahibawan. Well, she well, was getting a tattoo. Yeah, so na na nabalitaan niya, ni text niya nga ihang usa sa yang amigo namatay karon karon jud kan na discuss at that moment. So uh, then simply wako kay bawon sa ko insulti niya because in that moment nga murag I think if wala koy bad experience 
nga nahitabo sa una. Di ka ka-relate niya. Di ko ka-relate niya. Di ko ka-relate on sa on-site field sa na lost kagamigo. Di ka, di, di ko ka-relate if na if on-site on-site feeling ba sa kana nga exact moment. So, katong time man, na-share na ko niya. Like, this is how, this is why, this is why redeem ang pangalan sa shop. Something like that. So, maka-relate ko and maka-share ko ba. Which is, maoragid. Maoragid na ang koan. So, that always um, in my mind ang redeem, redeem si Gilagaw Anna. So, I decided to make it like my brand. So after all of those challenges in your life, uh, from uh, from the beginning when you were a kid to to your best friend getting shot in front of you, <laughs> to all of these challenges. Now we have a, uh, a pandemic, yeah. and uh, you're still here. Yeah. Oh, grabe yun. Um, what, a, what a beautiful story. Yeah, yeah. Grabe uh, uh, Sir Jay. Butch, thank you so much for sharing it to to me to us. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Uh, but where can they find uh, Redeem Tattoo Studio? What, what is, maybe you can tell everybody your location. Yeah. And where can they find you on the social media platforms? And uh, what is your official website and all that? Go ahead. Sir. Um, we are located at um, Cirusa Street, Sa Escario. If um, the landmark is Kuya J, from Kuya J, right turn ka and go straight, you will see the Redeem Tattoo. The exact location is Marison Condominium, Sea South Street, Tohong Street, Iscario. So, um, and then you can uh, find us uh, on my website, www.redeemtattoo.com. And then you can also follow me on Instagram, um, which is Boots Brandon. And also we are in Instagram, so Redeem Tattoo. So check it out. Uh, we book an appointment there, either email, uh, redeemtattoo at gmail.com. And you can also go straight to our Instagram. Um, just DM us for schedule. Yeah, so that's I'm going to ask Boots later on to show uh, us his favorite tattoo on him. His, I, I'm, we're going to ask. We're going to have some video of that or photographs of that. So I'm, I want uh, people to see your best tattoo and your worst oh, yeah. tattoo, right? <laughs> nah, good. So we're we're going to show it to them in, uh, as one of the uh, end credits, all right? <laughs> Later, okay. Thank you so much. Sure, sure. Boots, it's, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. You're thank amazing. You, thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. You take care. So, Boots, show us your best tattoo. Uh, yeah, okay, this is my favorite tattoo. Portrait of my mom, yeah, because I'm a mama's boy. <laughs> and then, um, ganang like one day because actually, ako nagi patato. Wala siya kay Bawa, ako nagi patato. This is one of my first tattoo. <laughs> so, after ni Balik siya, Gigans Manila, may mong siya, no, 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 And then, I realized, mga, um, uh, it represents, uh, she's, uh, she's the strongest woman uh, I know. Uh, like, she raised us, like, for us, even though wala siya, um, wala siya na, wala siya ka skwila, wala siya, I mean, wala siya ka graduate sa school, but he, she still like, raised us as, a, as, as who we are right now, but like, and then, she raised us really good, and then, mauna niya akong paborito, because mauna, um, also, um, nagtatuan is a good friend of mine, and then, mauna, first na ako tattoo, I decided to, like, um, one of my first tattoo, I decided to, like, put my mom, a picture of my mom that I really like and then put it in my skin and I always feel me go like I travel I travel and then makakita ko sa yan portrait and I was like okay I got my inspiration right here so I'm on it so that's your favorite tattoo yep. uh, the best tattoo on your body you, you mentioned earlier that you uh, have to think a hundred yeah. times before you get a tattoo For out sure. of all the tattoos on your body but which one did you think about the least yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think this one, like getting X. <laughs> What's that all about? Um, this uh, <laughs> random, because my amigo is uh, He's from the states. Um, I remember nga nagdinome, nagbuntagan me sa shop, and we end up like, hey, how about like let's do tattoo? Na nakainom sa ko. So you did that on yourself? He or did. Dili siya tattoo artist. Uh -huh. He said, hey, Boots, I want to tattoo you. Okay, tattoo me. I tattooed him. He was a tattoo artist. He was sick. And then, when I was sick, I was like, what do you want to do? So, then, oh. So, you had forgotten about that tattoo the morning after. Yeah, morning after. If not for the pain. Yeah, but, but, at least, actually, if I think about this day, there are special things that I tattooed. In terms of, 
times thinking about it. You never thought. Yeah, yeah never thought. Like, you didn't know what kind of tattoo you were going to get. Derecho, derecho. Thank you so much. Oh,